We're always excited when a new long-term test car turns up at what car. But this latest arrival has really got us all talking because it's our 2013 car of the year, the Audi A3 Sportback. We've stuck with the 1.4 petrol model that we gave the top prize to back in January. It's got 120 horsepower, can reach 62 miles per hour in under 10 seconds, but it emits 123 grams per kilometer of CO2, so it sits in VED tax band D. However, this isn't quite our car of the year, because when we give the gong to SE spec, when it came to actually ordering, I couldn't look past sport trim. For starters, it looks a bit funkier on 17 inch alloy wheels, and you get a few nice interior touches as standard, such as climate control and better seats. Audi have always had good options lists, and the A3 Sportback is no exception. I chose a different design of alloy wheel called Kinetic, which costs £250. I'm going to be driving this car all through next winter, so I added heated front seats. And our cars often get parked in narrow London streets, so I added folding mirrors. Then I added two of the Audi option packs. The Comfort Pack brings rear parking sensors, an auto-dimming rear-view mirror, acoustic glass, and automatic headlights and wipers. It costs around £600. I don't like seeing a square display in this widescreen space, so I chose the Technology Pack. It brings a higher resolution widescreen sat-nav, Bluetooth, and ID's iPod interface. I wouldn't want to be without it, but its price does look a bit steep at £1,400. Throw in this car's red metallic paint, and you're up to not far off £26,000. I'll admit, that's a fair chunk of money for a small family hatchback, but I'm impressed anyway. The A3 1.4 is great around town, with enough performance and excellent refinement. I really like the sports seats as well. They give you just that little bit extra support. The A3 is also proving pretty comfortable, and that takes me to the final option that I choose. Sports models get lower, stiffer suspension as standard, but experience has taught me that the last thing Audis need is a harsher ride. Luckily, you can deselect the sport suspension on Sport and S-Line trims, and it doesn't cost a penny, so I take that box. I have to go over several speed bumps every night on my way home, and the moment this car hit the first of those a few nights ago, I realised I'd made the right choice. As for the rest of the car, it's fitting in pretty well with my daily commute, which mixes suburban chaos with busy motorway. I've kept the Audi Drive Select system in comfort rather than efficiency so far, but with just over 400 miles on the clock, it's returning about 44 mpg. It's an impressive start then, but to see if the A3 Sportback can keep up that performance, check out our weekly long-termer updates at whatcar.com. <laughs>